Is A plus still worth it in 2025 and 2026? If you don't have time to wait around, if you're too busy, if you got to get back to watching Netflix, the answer is yes. Now, if you got a little bit more time, I'll explain exactly why A plus could be your ticket, your gateway to get into tech. Let's get into it. People may say that the A plus is uh, skippable, right? But if you skip this cert, you might be skipping your you know entire uh, tech career. So I'm about to break down, you know, five things that most people don't know about the A plus, the actual skills that you gain, and what job it actually unlocks. And there's a couple of jobs actually, and you know, just how difficult the exam is, and um, just if it's for you, right? So, like I said, I can't really tell you if it's for you or not, but uh, by the end of this, you'll have a lot more information to kind of make a an educated guess on if it's, it's for you, right? So. Um, Maybe five years ago, you could say, I mean, it's too basic. Uh, nobody hires for A+, plus, uh, and it's just for help desk or something like that, right? Truth is, uh, every career has, you know, a first step, uh, a starting point. So if you want to build, you know, a muscle, right, if you want to get in shape, you don't start by running a damn triathlon, right? If you want to get stronger, you don't put 315 on the bench and try and bench it unless you want to decapitate yourself right so a plus is that foundation right a plus is um that first step for you know your your it career and just trying to learn right so it's a couple different things right a couple different myths or a couple different sayings or whatever you want to say about a plus right Um, one of them is that a plus is just for help desk now can a plus help you get a help desk job for sure but it's a lot more than that, right? Um, you know, I had a former student that got A plus, and she actually became a, a network analyst, right? She didn't have a, a specific a network a certification, but A plus is just a foundation. You can. I had students that become server administrators, uh, students that um, became cybersecurity analysts, right? Junior, junior cybersecurity analysts, just off of having A plus. Now, the probability of those things happening for you are low. Most likely, you will be in some type of support or a help desk role, but there's a lot of different opportunities um, out there. Another thing is this, if you didn't know this, for almost all uh, government and military roles, this isn't a nice to have. It is a a requirement, right? Um, So uh, the Department of Defense, specifically the government, has a set of uh, requirements that you have to be compliant with, and having A plus is uh, one of those, right? Also, uh, A plus now is a lot more expansive and a lot more complex. It's not just you know as simple as hardware and software. It's everything that goes into uh, those two. So it's literally hundreds, one, zero, zero, two to three hundred different topics inside of um, the A plus exam. So you're going to be talking about SAS, virtualization, security, and not just PC repair. There's even some some AI and automation stuff in there as well. It literally covers every sector um, of uh, tech that you can think of. Another thing is um, A plus as a right now on e- on Indeed or on LinkedIn is actually the number one certification that is mentioned. And if it's not mentioned, the skills that you're supposed to learn inside of A plus are mentioned inside of those uh, different job descriptions. And another thing, just for you personally, it's going to prove that you can you know start something and uh, finish it. So to get certified, to be honest, you got to be disciplined. It's not just knowledge. You got to be disciplined. You got to sacrifice some stuff, time, the game, Netflix, and all other types of bullshit that's not going to get you to where you want to get to, right? So not too long ago, I had a a single mom, right? She was um, a single mom, and she had three boys. Three, were they teenagers? Two of them were teenagers, and I think one of them was like in middle school. Right. And she got a plus. She went through the program, got a plus. And, you know, she told me that was her first time starting, like pretty much since her kids had been born, starting something and finish it and seeing it through. Right. And after that, she actually got hired um, about 
six, I think six or seven weeks after the, after getting A plus, because it showed her like, okay, the opportunity, I can actually do uh, what I say I can do, right? And another thing is just, you know, the, the skills that you'll learn, right? Um, I'll go a lot deeper in, in this uh, in future videos, uh, but right now we just kind of talk about, you know, a quick overview of uh, some of the things that you'll learn. So the main overarching overarching uh, thing that you're going to learn in A plus is going to be troubleshooting, right? Uh, troubleshooting is a way of thinking. Troubleshooting is uh, the way that you will get to the bag. Troubleshooting means that you are a problem solver. People that can solve problems make the most money. If you can solve a problem, you know, quickly, efficiently, um, in a way that makes sense uh, for you and the company, you're going to make some money, man. And this uh, troubleshooting is um, pivotal uh, inside and outside of the um, exam room, right? So when it comes to certifications, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to all these different things, you have to make sure that uh, you're proficient at uh, critical and analytical thinking and being able to problem solve, like I said. So another thing is, uh, like overall, you would become just a better, yeah, problem solver is one. Uh, I lost my train of thought, I'm sorry. Listen, <laughs> the second thing uh, that you need, uh, that you're going, oh, that's what I, I'm, just, I'm back on the train, I'm back on the train. Another thing is, you know, just being technically fluent, right? So you will understand tech at every layer, whether it's the operating system, networks, software, hardware, security, you will understand what happens at every every point, right? And another thing is you will be able to translate the technical part to your manager, to your coworkers, to your peers, to the job interviewer, right? And that's really crucial for getting a job. Uh, if you're working in support, if you're working a help desk, uh, if you're even in sales, you have to know how to speak in a way to where somebody that's not technical, somebody that's not tech savvy would be able to um, understand it. Right. Another thing is this. Um, there's a bunch of different jobs I already named some, but the probability. Right. Let's, let's go with the most probable job that you will land. You could become an IT support specialist. You can do desktop support field service technician, help desk analyst, or IT operations, that type of stuff, right? And even some uh, junior system administrator and network support roles. Now, as of right now, uh, factually and statistically, people that have A plus make anywhere from fifty to $65,000 uh, within six to 12 months of getting their certification. That's without no uh, degree, right? And their first opportunity um, within one year, they're making 50 to 65K. Um, now, there's a lot of people, probably you listening to this, uh, it took you years. You know, I talk to people that have been doing stuff for years and they're making less than 50K. Um, if this hurts your feelings, if, it's, if it sounds great to you, but if you're making less than 50K, man, if you want to make yourself feel good, it's cool. But I know you. It's, I know you. It's, it's a struggle. Shit costs money, man. I, the news flash. So if you're making less than fifty k and you got a family, you're fucked. So I would advise that um, you get some skills and um, you can get those skills with um, a plus. Now, a plus, right? How difficult is it? You know, it's not. It's not easy. It's not easy, but it's not. You know, like physics either or, or rocket science. It, it's not easy, right? But um, with the with the right mindset, with the right training, uh, you can definitely make sure that um, you either pass on the first try or get as close as possible. So if you don't know nothing about the A plus, A plus is a two part exam which includes or increases the difficulty. So you got to pass the first part and the second part to be fully plus or fully A plus certified. So if you just pass one part, don't pass the other part, you are not. A plus certified, right? So each exam has a maximum of, of 90 questions. It's a mix of multiple choice and performance based questions. Uh, what makes it really super hard 
hard isn't a, isn't a word I like to use, but what makes it a, a little bit more difficult is just the volume of information, not the complexity of the exam, but just how much shit is really on there. Like every topic that you can think of in tech, it's going to come up on the exam, right? Um, so what, what I always, you know, recommend uh, to, to my students is that um, you do home labs, repetition, 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 and just holding yourself accountable. I'm going to study this amount of time. I'm going to take the certification on this day, so on and so forth, right? So um, not too long ago, I actually had a valet driver. He was valeting for damn near 20 years, like a valet driver, you know, picking cars up, dropping them off, parking them. And he didn't consider himself technical at all. And, you know, he passed uh, A plus, network plus and security plus um, in less than three months. Right. And he did that by, you know, following, you know, my guidance, my mentorship and only, you know, really um, studying for maybe an hour or two. Uh, a day, right? So, as far as what you should do now, right? Is A plus worth it? That's up to you. Let me know in the comments, right? But do not let YouTube comments convince you to skip this. Do not. You need the foundational stuff. You need a win. You need to start. And this could be, you know, a great start for you, right? Um, and another thing is, I would say start sooner today, prefer, preferably uh, than later. You know, the A plus may not be uh, security plus. It may not be uh, the sexiest, I guess, but it is the stairway to, to everything else. You know, to, like I said, network plus, security plus, cybersecurity, wherever, you, wherever you're trying to end up at, right? AI, automation, wherever you're trying to end up at, this is um, the first step. So... If you are looking to for somewhere to you know really start, what certification can I get uh, first? Uh, this may be a good place. Now that we know why we should get A plus, tell me when you're gonna get it. All right, so we're gonna use this video as accountability tool. We're gonna use this video as a bullshit meter, right? So if you're not full of shit, make sure that you put in the comment a date when you're gonna take A plus. And when you're going to pass it, right? Also, let me know if you're not taking A+. Plus. What certification are you working on? Do you already have A+. Plus? Are you getting a Cisco certification? Are you getting a Security+. Plus? Are you getting CEH? Are you getting CCNA? What certification are you working on right now? Right now. And what do you think it's going to do for you? Other than that, remember, the last cohort of the Zero to IT Hero program is going to be October 6th. So if you want to rock out with your best buddy, uh, your favorite mentor, and it's a tech game, make sure that you fill out the application in the description below. Other than that, I'll see you in class.